Hey guys, and welcome back to Front Mission. When we last left off, uh, I visited the arena and got ourselves a new member of crew, which I'm going to insert the clip for that here. And apparently we have missed uh, a secret mission. But I've been looking at this little guide here that I've got for these secret missions and I don't really understand how to trigger them. I'm doing what <laughs> what this game what this guide is telling me to do. However, one has already slipped by us and potentially the next secret mission uh, should be open to us now. So apparently we need to go into the military ward and talk to uh, the Stuart, but um, we don't have a Stuart to talk to, so I, I don't really understand. Anyway, the liberation of Freedom City from the UCS is complete, but the war's not over yet. It's our turn to advance into enemy territory. Your next mission is to secure the area near the border town of Lark Valley. We're looking for a prime location to establish a forward base. Some UCS units may still be roaming the area. Clear them out. You got it, boss. Now, if we go back into the military wars, we'll have Olsen. We have them on the run, but it won't last. Move out ASAP. Now, on exiting, we'll have Glenn here. Sergeant? I mean, First Sergeant Duval? I didn't know you were fighting with us. How have you been? Glenn, are you all right? Captain Clive, you're leading a group of mercenaries now, aren't you? I'm sorry, I tend to forget things. I heard about Lieutenant uh, Miur. I don't know how to say her second name, but Karen as well. She was originally supposed to serve under me. My condolences. Thanks. Glenn, didn't you say you had a friend who's fighting for the other side? Yeah. What would you do if you had to face him in battle? If he tries to shoot me, I'll shoot him first. War's war. I see. I'm sorry. What are you apologizing for, Captain? This doesn't affect you. I have to go. Maybe I'll see you again. And then nothing. So apparently, like I say, there is a secret mission open to us. But I've done all the criteria to unlock it. But apparently, we still don't have the option to unlock it so whether they've changed it in this version of the game which I find very hard to believe or uh, this guide isn't exactly accurate I'm not really sure um, anyway I will go to set up quickly we've upgraded all of our small med packs to large med packs as well um, so we're essentially rocking the Zelt main body Zelt arms we've still got our R's, uh, legs We've got the Argentino CPU, and we've got the racehorse backpacks. Weapons, we've got the Grave S rifle. Uh, we've got the Gold Ass, or Goldy Ass, whatever you want to say. Uh, rocket launcher. And those who can 
are using a similar setup, but they're using the Hexafire RG rifle instead. So let's go. Yeah, these, um, and I mean, it's possible that you can't get the secret missions on the first time round. But I don't know about that. Anyway, let's go. Let's take a look at this Lark Valley. And see what we can find. Probably a whole load of nothing. <clears throat> What happened here? <laughs> Key the sad music. The war happened. This town is where one of the earliest and fiercest battles was fought. Most of the civilians didn't make it out in time. The roots of all evil. Excuse me? I'm responsible for this. I, but I'm still alive, whilst the people who lived here... Captain. I have a contact straight ahead. A wanza. Molly, get out of my town. Soldiers ain't welcome here. Yeah, this is Molly. She's like the avenging spirit of this town who somehow has got herself some army fatigues and a combat wanza for re Look, I don't make the rules, all right? It just this is how this is anime as fuck, okay? Um it it makes no sense to me either. And also her character model is ridiculously funny. <laughs> I mean, sure, whatever. I I don't know whether she's overweight, whether she's been squashed. I, she kind of looks like a potato mixed with a thumb. Ah, uh, kind of like Pee Wee. Pee Wee could be her son. I don't know. It's just odd. What the hell? A survivor? Didn't you hear me? I told you to get out. Contacts multiple dead ahead. It's the UCS. Huh? They're back, yeah? Yep. Looks like we've got company. Meats back on the menu, boys. That's the one. The civvy who took out our advanced troops. Right, she took out your advanced troops. Be careful. Surround her and light her up. I like how evil that guy is. Surround her and light her up, the civilian. Yeah, we're going to take everybody that we can. Uh, actually, we've got so many men now that we can't actually take everybody. Oh, we can't take Gregorio. That's a shame. But it is what it is. <clears throat> so, here we go. Right. We've got Molly dead ahead. Uh, she's technically friendly, I think, so we're not going to worry about her too much. Now, she's in a impressively unimpressive Wanza. So, how she's body bagging these uh, enemy Wanzas, we don't know. We're not going to think too much about it, to be honest. We're just going to advance and help a grieving person out, I guess. Because that does appear to be what we do. And you know, she can't be that hateful, right? She can't hate all soldiers, right? Well. We shall see. Alright, everybody advance. I don't think we can actually get any weapons to bear just yet. Way too early. Pee-wee. You know what? I guess you can pull up a little bit. Sure. Oh, okay. Molly's just going to spring straight into action as the AI does. She's probably going to get herself killed because, um, again, that's kind of what the AI does. Yeah, I mean, she's... Wow, she's disarmed already. Opening volley. Well, she's gone. Damn you. Get out. Get the hell out. The town's gone, Molly. I don't think that was really worth sacrificing yourself. But, you know, whatever. She 
she's uh, a very, very unlikable character, and she's just not a very good character either. I mean, technically, any character can become a good character if you uh, put the work in. But, yeah, like, if we have spare slots, we're, we'll take her along, but she's not exactly super useful. Right, let's start spreading the love out with these rockets. We're not going to use guide. We've got guide level 3 on some guys, which is actually pretty strong, to be honest with you. Um, I mean, we're really rocking these guys, to be honest. We should be able to take this guy out, actually. Uh, Nat's only got guide level 2. You know what? Center mass, Nat. Center mass. And this is kind of another um, bit of the graphics that irks me a little bit. The way that you see the uh, rocket packs. I mean, oh god. We still really don't have good machine guns. The way you can see the rocket tube uh, like has one warhead in it, but somehow it fires two. Yeah, I mean, it's such a small little detail and it probably doesn't bother anybody. But little details like that do bother me. I'm not going to say it like ruins the game or anything ridiculous like that. But it just... Come on, man. Come on. Right, let's start launching more rockets. Oh, he's a missiler. A missiler with no legs. Well, it's kind of how I like my missilers. I would rather him have no missile packs. Well, you know, it's a step in the right direction. He's also got a torso-mounted machine gun. Which, eh, shouldn't really do a huge amount of damage to us, in all fairness. Not bad, Paul. That's what we like to see. Got another Repair S, which we're probably never going to use. Because, well, I, you know, we've got the re medium repairs now, but I suppose Repair S's are useful uh, as a backup if we ever need them. This guy is useless, so I'm not even going to bother engaging him anymore. But, let's peel up and start volleying some rockets at this guy. Not bad. Not bad. We like that. And Adler gets a bit of a uh, bit of precious XP. Cool. Right, you know what? Peel off that way. And there we go. We've split our forces in half, but it's fine. Peewee can move up to the back. And hopefully these guys are going to come at us pretty strong. The quicker we can take these guys out. Oh, he's going to run back for repairs. It's kind of an interesting AI trait, that. Instead of staying and fight, they uh, seem to always return, like run away. It's a bit interesting. Now, we're going to have to start leveling these guys up with their long weapons. Or their short weapons, I should say. Because, unfortunately... If that starts to fall behind, we're going to have a bad time. Let's get at least a couple of our guys leveled up with short short range weapons. Um, right, so we've got another Wanza coming around there, but he's pretty busted. Let's just go straight ahead. Full speed ahead. Um... Got a missile and attacker. Go for the missile. Always prioritize the missile. Center mass. Absolutely. Well, I mean, okay. Could have been worse. Certainly could have been worse. Use it. Now, if you don't use skills, they still have a chance of leveling up. So, and I do believe... Don't quote me on this, but I'm pretty sure skills level up, not with experience, but every time you use a skill, there is a percentage chance it will level. It's something like that. Which is interesting, I guess. Alright. Um, so we've got one jeep there. What else have we got here? Is that, like, basically it? Yeah. Got three, four units there. Two still above. Is this two? Yeah, alright. Well, push forwards then. 
Ah, excellent. We can actually get him in weapons range. Nice. Blast his legs off. Just what we like to see. I guess, really, we could just start getting some small arms research. Research? Ooh, some small arms XP. Just because we're going to need to start getting it. But you can see our weapons are doing just like a pathetic amount of damage. Uh, but it won't always be that way. This is why originally when I first started playing this I was using rockets all the time. Because I was just like, but small arms suck. They're useless. And kind of, but not really. They are useless to start with. I would argue that rifles, especially to start with, seem like better options, but once we start getting... Ah, um, why did I move Peewee up there? Once we start getting uh, some skills and some more, you know, XP, they will get better. They will get to the point where they're pretty ridiculously good, actually. Now that guy's wielding a shotgun. I don't think I've ever really used a shotgun. I don't really know if they're worth using. Maybe I need to put some research into that. I'm not really sure. Nice. That's some solid misses there. That's what we'd like to see. Okay. Pose, the truck is going to be in launch range. Might as well. Um, that's an attacker. You know what? Let's just engage him. Engage him with the rifles. Rifles are... At least they start off, you know, significantly more impressive when they hit. And that is a big caveat. When they actually hit. Commander in a moth. What's he rocking? Uh, he, he doesn't really have anything super dangerous. So he's just down to his shotgun, which is fine. Alright, that's cool. Let's send a volley towards the commander. That insignia. The canyon crows. We're, we're doomed! Yes, yes you are. Sweet child. Let's just keep using small arms. Come on guys, let's get some damage going. And this can be a problem as well, if you like heavily rely too much on a particular type of weapon. You can back yourself into a corner. And you don't want to overly rely on rockets either. Just because rockets have a very finite amount of ammo. And you don't want to be in those high-end fights later on in the game. With no real experience. With your other weapons. That was nice. That was very nice. Mm, commander's actually coming at me. Interesting. Oh, God. Yeah, he kind of really rang our bell there. Not bad, Natalie. Not bad. You can run, sweetheart. But you can't hide. Now, Paul has actually been knocked around quite nastily. But look how bad his uh, short skill is. Really bad. Now, of course, that's my fault. That's bad. 100% my fault. Frederick. You want to get them into at least quad digits. Really. Because what's kind of interesting with the skills. Is it doesn't make a big difference with rocket launchers. At least in my experience. But it does make a really freaking noticeable difference. When it comes to. Uh. Small arms. Not necessarily how um, often they hit, per se. 
Although that does go up, but it makes um, a big difference of how much damage they do. It really is quite significant. But as I've said previously, I'm still not like super clued up with how all the experience and whatnot works. Right, let's just start wailing on these guys. He's weaponless, which is what we like to see. Mate, get a load in. There we go, look at that. Bring that sack of shit down. Paul, I'm going to want you to use some uh, healing, brother. There we go. Everyone else just push forwards towards the enemies, I suppose. Uh, Hans, Hans, you're in good shape, actually. Alright, well, that's fine. He actually <laughs> did, like, two damage. He shot a destroyed part. But you know what? That's fine. That's fine. We don't mind that. Defend yourself with the grave. Yes, another weapon disabled. Ah! Ooh, curious, curious, curious. Um, he's actually getting his weapons repaired. Because he's next to the truck. That's kind of worth knowing, actually. Um, no, we don't want to use rockets. To be honest. Let's say, let's start concentrating on small arms fire. Uh, nope, just end your phase. Ryuji. Uh, I guess... Try and take him out. That's okay. Don't mind you disabling his other arm. It's all XP at the end of the day. Excellent. These drones make amazing little uh, pinatas of EXP. And we're going to abuse the hell out of that. Right, you can serve to be softened up a little bit. Not going to use guide. Oh, wow. Okay. Did not expect him to be totally decimated like that. But hey, whatever. Right, um, I think... Yeah, I think we're pretty good. Right, you guys could actually sneak in behind and start knocking on this missile's back door, to be honest. Yeah, if we can do some significant damage to this guy... Frederick's pretty beaten up. You know what, Fred? Use a repair. And you. I want you to... May. I want you to drive up there, but use a repair as well. We're not losing anybody today. Not on my watch. Paul, drive up and engage. All right. That'll work. And that will work nicely. End your turn. Hands. Get some shots in there. Ooh. Well, fine. I suppose. Peewee, you can chill. Defend yourself. <laughs> nice. Okay, so Frederick's actually in uh, quad digits there with his short, which is good. Ah, where are you going? You snaky little rodent. Uh, I think everyone else is kind of just going to hang where they are. Nobody else really needs to advance. I mean, these guys down here should have a handle on everything. Nice, he's disabled. Uh, I guess you guys can come down. Send a volley at this guy. Try and soften his ass up. Nah. That works. Yep, that'll work. For now. Um, take him out. If you can, Hans. Excellent. 
Nice 84 experience. Ah, it's actually matched. Oh, guide. Yeah, sure. Now you can see he can only have three skills. Different um, squad mates can actually have different amounts of skills, which is kind of interesting. Defend yourself. Ooh. He's got a rifle. That's quite spicy, actually. Fred, see what you can do, buddy. Nice. Picked up a shield. Shields are a legitimate strategy, but I just personally prefer to have extra weapons. Area clear of hostiles. Olsen's not going to be happy. I prefer a balling out by Olsen over that old lady's ghost haunting me. Are you alright, lady? Stay away. I'm fine. Why do you want us to leave this place? Why? I'll tell you why. It's because of people like you that I know. The women of Lark Valley lost their lives, uh, lost their children to this war. And even those mothers, they died in the fires that raised this town. Oh my. How dramatic do you want it? I'm the only survivor and it's my duty to make sure soldiers don't defile this town anymore. Then kill me. Captain. I'm responsible for starting this war. Kill me and you'll get your revenge. You. So, if it wasn't for you, all this... This war, the children. So, is there no men in this town, or... I'll... I'll... No, killing you won't bring them back. And it won't state my anger. I'll see you dead, alright. I'm coming with you. I'll make sure to be there to watch as you burn and die in battle. That'll be my revenge. Alright, lady. Pull up a chair and get in line. <clears throat> yeah, I know this uh supposed to pull on the old heartstrings a little bit there, but it's just it just comes off as very silly. This town of women and children. Okay, so let's enter the town. We've been ordered to report to Colonel Olsen ASAP. Let's head to the military ward. Uh, me and uh, JJ have some business to take care of. You guys knock yourselves out. Fine, I'm sure Colonel Olsen won't miss the constant interruptions when you're around. Let's go, Royd. Report, Royd. Was the location suitable? No, all the buildings were gutted out. Unsu uh, unusable. You'd have better luck building a base in the nearby swamps. Alright, I'll relay that to the brass. You've got solid R&R &R until I get further orders. Dismissed. You're not impressing anyone, you know. Excuse me? I'm talking about what you told your colonel about Lark Valley. Telling him to find some other place to build a base. You thought that would make me feel all better? I just told him what I saw. That's all. Royd, we have to go after Keith and JJ. What? Where did they go? They're going to attack a UCS supply convoy north of Lark Valley. I tried to stop them, but... Well, you know how they are. Those greedy bastards. Get ready to move out. I'm going with you. Yeah. Let's go back to the military ward. Get some rest until the next mission. But stay in comms range. Alright. Yeah, I was just going to say that. See, this is what I mean. I don't know how to trigger these secret missions. Um, now, if we exit, we can only really go to Freedom City. Mensa. Yeah, I don't know about these secret missions. If we can pick some of them up, we will. If we can't, we're not going to worry about it. But anyway, we're on half an hour here, guys. So, I'm going to leave it here. When we come back, I guess we're going to go after those two idiots and see what they're up to. Obviously, uh, no good. <laughs>